Remember how cool Mad Max Fury Road was? One of the reasons was its incredible use of color. The movie takes place in a massive desert with deep orange colors contrasting against the pale blue skies. This look is very unique to Mad Max. However, if you want your content to look similar, we can help you with some tips to achieve that Fury Road look. Now, on to our project. Here, we have two different clips on the timeline. We're gonna color correct this clip and use it for reference. We can't use an actual scene from Fury Road for this tutorial for obvious reasons. So we're just gonna use something that has a somewhat similar color that we got from the Pond5 Marketplace. But feel free to grab a scene from the movie yourself or search Pond5's free collection and use that as your reference clip. In the menu bar, find Window and select the Lumetri Color option. This will bring up this workspace set up on the right. It's ideal for color correction. And for this particular tutorial, we'll focus mainly on the match color function and some other simple corrections. Open the color wheels and match section and click the comparison view button. This will create a multi-frame setup that will help you pick your reference shot and see the before and after view. So what you wanna do is you wanna scrub the bar to the other clip you want to use for reference. So you can see here, we've scrubbed it through the first clip into the second clip, which we wanna use for reference. Go ahead and click apply match. You can see it did a pretty good job. It's automatically detected the colors for us. So what we'll do is we'll take the midtones down a little bit. We'll mess with the highlights. You know, we'll take the highlights down and then we'll go back to the midtones. I want to adjust this. Maybe not quite so orange. We'll take a little closer to the middle. Now let's go over to the basic correction. So there's our whites and then we'll go to the contrast and we'll boost the contrast. We'll also boost our highlights here. And there we go. This will help us separate the sky color. We'll take up the blacks a little bit. We'll go ahead and bring up the shadows and that looks good there. Let's, let's stop there. So now we wanna get into the HSL secondary section. In the HSL secondary, you wanna grab the eyedropper and we wanna select the ground section. We wanna ensure that only the ground part is selected using the parameters. You'll see that the ground is really what we're adjusting here with these selections. Now we want to blur the edges a little bit. And we'll take this back down just to make sure it looks good. And there you go. So now we're going to drop down to correction. And here we'll decrease the luma and push the colors to a more warm orange. This is the most prominent color in the movie and that's the look we're going for. So we're going to adjust these parameters to really try and separate the sky from the ground. The last step is to add another Lumetri effect, but this one is just for singling out the sky. So let's go ahead and type it in our effect panel, and then we'll go ahead and drag it up into that same uh, source panel where you can see right below the other Lumetri color. Then you can select the new Lumetri effect. You can either click on it over on the left-hand side, or you can select it from the drop-down in the Lumetri color panel on the right-hand side. Now you can start your adjustments on this specific Lumetri color effect. We want to brighten up the sky a little bit. Yeah, we're really separating out the sky here. We're taking, we're adjusting each one of these just to where we can get a bigger selection of the sky. And now we want to increase the blur. And then we'll come down here and we're going to raise this up. We're going to lower the saturation a little bit and we're going to take this down to the blue and now we're gonna increase the blur even more to make sure that it's really separated. And here's the final result. This is uh, pretty close to the Mad Max Fury Road look that we wanted. And uh, so here's a short edited sequence of clips to show all the changes we made using the match color and other options. So go ahead and have fun with your Lumetri color panel and see what you come up with.